We live in the information age. A staggering 2.5 quintillion bytes of data is created every day. Even so, some blind spots remain. We still don't know enough about the inequalities and injustices women and girls face every day. People have worked for decades to get women and girls at the center of the global health and development agenda. That was about giving voice to the voiceless. Now it's about making the invisible visible. In too many cases, we're not gathering the information we need about women's lives and the social, political, and legal challenges they face. And even when we do, it's often too sketchy, out of date, or not being used properly. As long as women are invisible, the benefits of development can't reach them. As a result, millions still don't have access to primary health care or get to go to school. Often it's women who take care of their households and families. Yet their social status is much lower than men's. Their contributions to the economy are mostly ignored. And while we know that many women are abused, underpaid, and denied basic things like identification, land ownership, and bank accounts, without good data, we are missing the crucial details to be able to change those things. We can't see precisely what it is we need to fix, whether the solutions we come up with are working or not, or what progress we're making to achieve gender equality. Setting off a data revolution to bridge this knowledge gap will open the world's eyes to the vast disparities and discrimination faced by women and girls. But data alone won't change women's lives. Countries need to design programs based on better data. Only by learning more about women's lives and the barriers that hold them back will we be able to help more women reach their full potential. There are lots of ways to improve how we gather and use data. Simply recording births and marriages can help reveal early and forced marriages. It also gives women an individual legal identity. In many places, the only way rights can be fully experienced and exercised. Measuring all forms of labor accurately can help expose when women's work goes unrewarded or underpaid. Better tracking of new HIV infections can shed light on a growing epidemic among adolescent girls and help us ensure they get the treatment they need. Gathering and analyzing data can seem abstract and complicated, but the reason we need to do it is concrete and simple. It empowers more women and girls to transform their lives. And when they do, everyone will benefit. Families, communities, and countries. Because women and girls don't just benefit from progress, they drive it.